All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. So, um, last episode we went, we got ourselves a UD. Uh, it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, I, I didn't find any Mega Theorems yet. Uh, we're going to be trying to find some more of those today. But before I jumped in the game, I was actually just watching Raskark play. And uh, he was flying around on this tame I've never seen before. And I think uh, it came out on a map that I didn't make it to yet. Uh, as you guys know, I played up to Extinction, but he was flying around on like this, this fucking squirrel. It looked like almost like a giant flying squirrel thing. I think he said it was called a Maywing. Um, and he said it was a mod. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of put it in my head. I wanted to look at the mod list because I haven't seen this list in a while, guys. Uh, pretty much since. Oh, wow. I have 83 pages of mods now. Um, but I kind of just wanted to see what was on here. Uh, yeah, uh, is this it? The milk glider? I think that was the one that he had. The new design of the spontaneous appearance of milk glider and the like, environment. Watch as the milk glider emerges randomly. I don't. Yeah, it, it looked ridiculous, guys. Okay, so they added a ton of uh, dinos to this. They even had the shadow main, which was another one I haven't seen yet. Search for Maywing. I, was, I only got 15 pages of this I wanted to click through. Oh, Rock Elementals. Those come in. Uh... So what map is the Maywing a part of, guys? Was it a Genesis team? Somebody added the mantis to to the island. Oh, it's Gen two. Okay, so that's why I never seen it. Gotcha. Moon dragon. Breedable Rhino. They added Basilisks. Rock Drakes. Oh shit. It's my what it, that was my favorite team of uh of all time, guys, was the Rock Drake. You guys know I loved it. Um Tameable bosses? How the hell does that work? Have any of you guys ever tamed used a mod and tamed the bosses? Um, oh, they added the manas. So we, we got these in uh, Extinction. Those were pretty cool. They added Snow Owls, Reapers. Oh, sorry. Huh? How do I get out? Uh, scroll wheel, I don't know. Bring up the settings. Just gotta look in the settings. I don't. I don't play on a controller, so I don't know. But on your keyboard, you can just or your mouse just scroll the wheel. Uh, Griffins. I. I have, what map were Griffins on? Cause I never seen Griffins either. That must have been another map I never got to. No untamables. Oh, there it is. The Maywings. Okay, so that's the. That's the mod that he had right there. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get it. As much as, as cool as it was, and I, I would love to check it out. Um, I, I might hold off until I clear the map. Um, oh, shit. All my mods need to be updated, actually. Um, I didn't mind adding these dinos because they never existed in the game to begin with. But I don't know how I feel about adding dinos from other maps that aren't necessarily supposed to be in this map. But I don't know. We'll 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 think on it, guys. We'll think on it. Uh 
um custom dino levels this so what does this do exactly level distribution mod in the i and i configuration i was sick of spending hours on end searching for that elusive high level dino do you love the island map but hate how heavily skewed the dino levels are toward the low end this mod fixes those issues by altering dino level distributions and giving you the ability to choose from having ragnarok like levels equalizing all dino levels or skewing the dino levels toward the high end instead of the low end via I and I settings. Um, you can even tailor the specific level ranges you wish to have spawned. Best of all, this mod should work on all maps, both vanilla and modded dinos. Well, I don't want to skew it towards the high end because the thing is, is I used to have a really, really big problem with the low level dinos. Like I, I really had a huge problem with it. Um, and it, it, it was frustrating because, you know, we'd go around and we're looking for dinos and you just, you can't find anything that's 150. You can't find anything that's 120. Everything's level 20. Everything's level 10. Everything's level 15. Everything's level 5. And it is super, super frustrating. But then there is also uh, an aspect of it, if if it was so super easy to go around and find level 150s i also feel like that wouldn't be a good thing either you know what i mean so i would want it to be like a little balanced because you know it, the way the island is right now it's like when you do find that 150 boom do you know what i mean it's like it's this super exciting moment you know what i mean it feels really really good um you know it, 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 and it gives you something to look but i feel like if ever if it was just really easy to go out and get a 150 i don't i don't i don't feel like it would feel rewarding anymore anymore you know what i mean but like krona said high levels does mean high difficulty so um that that would be a, a challenge in itself because now more of the dinos that you come up against in the wild are are going to be crazy, crazy dangerous. So I guess that that's a good that's a good balance in itself right there. So once you install this mod, what do you what do you do? Okay, so the default settings have the equalized dino level option set to true. And at the full range of dino levels came. okay so this comes like if i just install this it comes baseline with the balanced okay i, I we'll, we'll check it out i'm gonna have to do a dino wipe um it, it does this does count sound sound kind of scary though um if we're running into more high level dinos that that is going to definitely be quite scary uh so sir dabs the reason why i didn't add that indomitable duo uh people were saying that that mod was ridiculously unbalanced that those modded creatures were just really really unbalanced um so that was the reason why i never uh added it okay so update uh custom dino levels activate now nah, i'll have to i'll have to do a dino wipe right now we do gotta walk this bad boy all the way home check our uh uni that we got last episode um so let me see i'm gonna bring this up destroy wild dinos i don't know if i hit it or not i feel like i hit it but I, then i'm like i don't know did i hit it okay yeah we're good I've used it since release. It's stable. It's a set of level fives and twenties. I now find mid-range eighties to in the eye. Okay, so one fifties aren't just everywhere. So we're gonna just see more mid-range dinos 
instead of like level fives and level tens. I, I, I can get on board with that. That's also going to be quite interesting, um, like I said, to run into. I'm, I'm a little uh, worried how this could turn out for us. Uh, because now we have to walk all the way back home. Okay, so let me look at the map here. We're going to hit this little river down here, and then we're going to follow that. Now, the Yudi's not much of a fighter, Chaz. You guys know it's more of a support dino. Will I continue playing Grounded? Uh, well, yes. Um, I actually plan on playing Grounded again. Uh, when I could not tell you, uh, it's a, Grounded is more of like a personal goal for mine uh, to complete. I'm uh, on the fence of whether I'm going to do Grounded in video form or if I'm going to do it in live streams again. It all kind of just depends on performance and, and stuff like that. But yeah, I do, I do plan on checking Grounded out at some point. So we're going to go with... Stack calls here. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely will be playing Grounded at, at some point again. Whether that will be a live stream or a video, though, I, I couldn't tell you at the moment. Okay, we're almost to the river. Waterfall in front of us. Now we cut across down this way, and this will bring us to our main river. And then we just got to follow the beach line down. Hope that we don't get any crazy, crazy spawns. Also, for those of you guys watching, I believe Ark Survival Ascended dropped on PlayStation today. Um, so yeah, the game is currently available on all systems, finally. Seventy. an ascendant stone axe. What does my FPS again look like garbage? All my settings are off. Let's put that on. Leave that. Oh, no, no. We turned this off because it freaking was breaking shit. We crashed. Um, that, do that. Dodos makes such a weird noise. Gasper, what's going on?
Yeah, I, I don't mind having the DLSS on. Um, I'm going to leave Super Res off. So we'll turn DLSS on. We'll leave all the rest of it. I think you guys said it was, wasn't it frame generation that was causing, which one of these was causing the crashes? Was it frame generation or was it Super Resolution? I don't remember. Or was it just DLSS in general? is actually pretty damn tame right now i didn't add any dinos um i only added the the original six that were there but like uh, today i didn't add anything i just looked over the mods and we added the custom dino level mod and that was it Tame this way back. Got some RGs hanging out near the base. A 140? Jesus Christ. And a 10. Is that a 140 female? It is! Alright, we need that. Seriously, you guys, we got a 140 female RG. Or did I need a male? I'm pretty sure I needed a female. to get this we're gonna have to build an rg trap over here which is fine i got some dino gates i think i got some extras um just need to get some armor on Okay with that. Um, let's see. I have to have some extra dino gates somewhere. That's behemoth. Okay, so I got the gates, but I don't. I have any archways, at least here that I can see. <laughs> Let's check outside here. Thank you. 
So I gotta get some more, uh... I think that's it right there, right? Let's make sure. Wait, is that... What? Did I say 40 or 140? That's only 40. Where the hell's the 140? This is the level 10, I think. I gotta, I gotta get some stone really quick. Um, wooden thatcher right there. We just gotta go grab some stone. There it is. All right, I'm gonna eat this level 10 real quick just to get it out the way. She is. There's the 140 right there. I'm gonna come down here and grab a. Now you gotta be careful on this side of the water. Because there's freaking micro raptors. Oh, run out of. Run out of stone close to base. Well, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about tanking the, the RG damage. That should be. That's that's pretty easy. It's when it starts to run. If it say ran into the to the red forest, like flew across the river. Uh, I want to be able to control where the RG passes out. Yeah, because I, I could I could care less about you know the thing hitting me, and because yeah, I could easily probably tank it, um, bob, weave, juke it, and things like that. But it's I want to be able to control where the damn RG is gonna pass out. And as soon as it starts running, it could pass out in the water. It can pass out, you know, over there with some wrecks. It it just there, there's no control over where the hell the damn things are going. My luck. You guys know how it is for me. The thing's gonna pass out in the worst possible location. I want to, I'm going to end up moving one of those, uh, one of those vaults and start using it as just a, no, I guess I could use the, the one, uh, for, is it just a drop vault? This one on the backside here. We'll just to use this as a everything one for right now i will be opening up this back uh and creating another doorway whoops oh actually we'll have we gotta have So, dinosaur gates, I need four. I had enough for one. Go. Got four gates, the two doors, good to go. Now, can you pull vaults down on the ground chat or do they have to be on a foundation? Because I would put it, I would just put a vault right there and I'd just be like a drop vault. 
Okay, there she is, I believe. Yep. Where is it? Come on, Archie. Why? You were just here, dude. Is that it? There it is. Okay. It does need a foundation. That's what I, I had a feeling it would, but good shot. Hurt man. Let's go out and get some prime meat. Here it is, guys. Got her done. Okay, so we're gonna go out and uh, get some prime meat. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it starve out just a little bit. And we, can, we can actually go scout, see if there's any uh, other interesting teams around here. 65 Carno. There's an Alpha Carno. Ooh, we got a Rex. 55. Some bit of damage. This one actually has a baby. Not really worth taking the baby.
You can't grab baby Rexes, can you? Oops. I got this Rex here. Oh, you can grab. So this one's an adolescent. Oh, that's a juvenile, yeah. Kind of scouting the beach, seeing what we see. What the hell is that? Oh, iguana down. Now guys, how many of you how many of you guys are against bringing uh non map specific like like you, the mindset that I have, right? Um where I I don't I'm okay with adding like, you know, the new modded dinos to the map. And but when it comes to adding like dinos from like like reapers, like I would I would not be okay with adding reapers to the island i don't know i feel like that's 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 just not okay would you guys say like the maywing is in that same classification like it needs to stay on gen gen 2 like bringing it to the island like is op or like what are you guys' thoughts on that Ninety-five. Is that a Thyla? An eighty-five Thyla, man. Right out in front of my base. It's a travel mount, but but how like what guys when I seen Ross Clark whipping around on a thing I literally asked him I, I swear I asked Ross Clark if he boosted the movement speed because that thing was so Fast it legitimately made the rock Drake because I thought the rock Drake had some of the best mobility in the game And then people are like no manasaurs the or the what is it the mana the, the manas you guys know the from uh from extinction people are like no the manas are really really good chat from what i literally just seen from that maywing that thing puts the rock drake and the mana to shame like you can't even compare them guys you cannot even compare them it was so fast it was like seamless i mean granted i'm pretty sure you gotta damn 
I know Flashy posted that picture of Raptors, like his Raptor squad that he's seen earlier. That is a lot of Raptors, even right there. Look at how many Raptors there are. Three, six. N There's like nine Raptors right there. Ten. Very Onyx. That's a 130. Ooh. Let me see if I can lure this berry up towards my base a little bit. Yeah, I gotta be careful. If I touch the water here and get dropped in front of all these rappers, that is a rip. Hit on him. Cool. Does anybody by chance remember if my my Baryonyx was a male or a female? Those tanks before. No, Apple Titan with the five months. Thank you so much, man. Um, yeah, I've never had one of the May wings before. I never, I never made it to uh, Gen two. We we got to Gen one and we stopped. Okay, so I got it up here, ish. Um, I just wanted to get it a little closer to my base. That way, when I tame this art, because I could probably use this damn same RG trap that I got here for the uh, the Baryonyx, honestly. What was that noise? There's a level five. No mod is powerful enough, chat, to get rid of the 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 almighty level five. Crimson, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. For the all powerful level five. All right, I gotta go out and get some more prime meat. Start it up. I'm gonna have to land on top. Whoop. No, no, don't do that. So I can go kill that baby Rex that was down here. Is that a level 150? 130. I'm a little worried with the... I mean, the RG should be safe. But just to be safe, I'm going to put some... Uh, those spike traps. I'm going to put those on the side. Just to... Just to cover my ass, because the last thing I want is something like trying to nibble on my damn pains while they're in here. So we can come here and then put the spike traps on the on the side of it, you know what I mean? Yes. Gotta make sure it's not 
sticking in too far and ends up poking poking the Thames. Right, that should be okay, right? I don't know how I feel about that, chat. Maybe I'll just do a metal a metal billboard or something. That should be okay. May, uh, Russia says getting the Maywing will make your playthrough more fun. Really? I just don't. I feel like I haven't earned the right to use the Maywing because I've never played. Um, I never played Gen Two. Like if I, I feel like if I did Gen Two, like. I feel like I, I I would I maybe deserve it, but I haven't even done Gen 2, guys. Not that I've not beat Gen 2. I've never even played Gen 2. I've never even played Gen 1. Well, I played like a couple minutes of Gen 1. Let's see if that Rex is still down here. It's a 65 theory. that I get there. Four more pieces. We'll go drop that. Damn, Sarge's taming up nice and quick. Mixed with the seven months. Thank you. So, surviving here is too easy. I, mean, I don't know about too easy. We've gotten to the point where, you know, we're definitely just floating now. The uh, the beginning, though, getting here, though, was it was pretty rough. Yeah, that leveling mod is, is is quite a game changer. We're seeing some pretty high levels. Um, oh no! Come on, land up top. Land up top. very long i mean it should be enough to tame it but just to be safe we'll go get a couple more pieces there's an alpha kernel here what level is this Surprised that that Carno and that Thyla just get along like that.
to 115. on these things. Yo, have you guys ever been swarmed by, like, ooh, a ton of these demon lords or whatever? I feel like if you get swarmed by enough of those, they could be pretty damn dangerous. So that's more than enough to finish off that RG. And this was our other breeder RG, right? Yeah, it was 217. You gotta at some point get that damn grinder going too, guys. I've been talking about getting it set up, but we haven't actually got to the point of, uh, I, I think I may have all the resources nece necessary to do the grinder. Uh, I think it was like, wasn't it? No, no, no. We needed more metal. Yeah, that shit was like 30, was it like 35, 3600 metal or something like that? Pretty sure it was like an unbelievable amount of metal. Yeah, it's too much metal. <laughs> yeah, that's what we gotta go check. Drop this in there. That RG is going to finish up. Beauty. Um, now, Redwoods. I'm pretty sure Redwoods, you can find Megatheriums, right? So we don't have to go all the way up to the snow biome. For Megs. 
I think. Maybe it's not Mega Thelonious. I don't know. I feel like I've seen him here before. Yeah, I know. We've seen him here before. You guys think the mod will fix the levels of the damn max? Cause oh boy, the last episode was bad, really, really bad. All this? Careful, I don't get freaking pounced on from these damn trees. Stylus are unforgiving as hell. And now that we got the levels cranked up, why I'm gonna get pounced on by a 150. And when Thylus pounce you, don't they pin you to the ground too? And they like hold you in that pin position and he's non yo, you're dead. No coming back from that. Yeah, they do, right? That's what I if I thought they pinned you to the ground or something like that when they pounced you. This is daytime right now. We got good better visibility. Oh, there's obsidian right there, too. We don't have to fly all up to the damn volcano. We got some over here. Should have known that, though. That's, this is actually the mine, the mountain that I had my mine on previously. I just have an aversion of the redwoods, like most people. <laughs> tend to steer clear. Let me just spot a fucking Megatherium, dude. The, so, a Griffin is another team I've never... Uh, never seen before. Um, are they good? What would you guys say? Like the Griffins are... Are they cool? Are they good? Are they strong? I think of a griffin and all I can picture is an RG with legs. Chat, when are we supposed to be getting scorched also? Is that uh this month? Or next month? Or is it like January time frame? Spotting anything right now for Megatherium. Oh, we're gonna have to get some stam back here in a sec. Oh, you this is where Judy got pounced on. In my original island playthrough, I was flying over here and I got, I, I legit got pounced on from a tree by a Thyla. Dragged down to the ground in my death. 
And then I ate my tame. Uh, you can do the flying down move like a snow owl and attack and swipe with the claws, damaging everything. And oh shit, that's crazy. Was it? It was December. <laughs> it was December, but now I think February. Yeah, delay. N n now that I'm, uh, you know, been exposed to wild card a bit more, I, I I now understand the delay expectation. So if they say something's coming out in the beginning of December. It wouldn't be crazy for you to think that it might come out in January. I don't know. February is... I mean, look, guys. They said that ASA was coming out in... Well, no. I, I mean, I, I guess that's not okay. Because they said it was coming out in August. And then it ended up coming out in, what, November? <laughs> Or October. <laughs> so I mean I was I was gonna say look AS you know ASA was supposed to come out and then uh it was only like delayed to like the next day. But then I remember the initial ASA was supposed to come out like over the summer and then they just didn't say anything. As you guys can see, I was hoping down the southern beach here we'd spot a megatherium. Obviously, no such luck. I might have to go to the cold biome if we're gonna... We're gonna try to find these things in high quantities. So I think Aries... Uh, did Aries, you said that you can find them here, but they're just... A lot more rare. Athena, how you doing? Yeah, because I don't see anything. What do you mean there's a modded map? Wait, they already have an ASA modded map? When the hell did that come out? I figured, I figured people would have said that. Yeah, so I wanted to check this clearing here, but as you guys can see, nothing... Svartal... Svartalheim? Uh, does it have any, like, cool tames on that map, specifically? Oh, we got a Rex, guys. Yes. 115. And it's a female. What do you guys think? Should we waste our time on it or no? <laughs> Set the bar to 130. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not crazy. Like, I don't know. It, it seems like we're finding more high level things. So it's like, I don't want to settle for something. You know what I mean? 
When, yeah, you know, we could we could try to get a higher level one. I'm just worried, chat, because you know how it was last episode. We couldn't find shit. I just I couldn't even find a Rex. Period. Let alone like a high level Rex. You know what I mean? So that RG's done. I'm gonna get this Baryonyx in the trap. Nah, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Is this the Barry right here? That's the 130 Baryonyx. I might get it. Man, I'm gonna get these RG's breeding. We'll start, we'll start breeding up some, uh, yeah, cause I got the Baryonyx here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get the Baryonyx guys. I'll get it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to empty out the trap. have these three them right here So I actually have no clue, guys, what my breed timing timers look like. Uh, I haven't changed any of the settings, so they could be horrific for all I know. Um, but yeah, so we, let me check the stats. So we got our female and we got our male. Uh, she came in at 209. He's at 217. So not bad. Um, decent health, stamina, food is... Why so many fucking... Points in food. The weight is okay. Melee damage 296. This is 296. 668. Um, 25. Problem is I don't remember what the I think I added a point or two to this this one, so I don't remember what the base stats are. Yeah, that food roll was a rip. And a half right there. Look, 11k food. Are you kidding me? Yeah, as far as your stats aren't that great. Is there no points added to this? How, how do you know if no points are added? Like, is there a way you can just tell by looking at it? I mean, it's probably a dumbass question. Huh? Ten points, you know. Well, those just might be the ten points available. Oh, because it's the slash ten. So that's how you know it's 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 base. I've, I haven't touched it. Ten. Okay, 10 is first there. Okay, good. So I'm not an idiot then. Um, I didn't drop any points into it. Damn, so this RG's got some good stats baseline, guys. The health is good. The stamina is decent. The weight, I mean, we could pull weight from the female because her weight's 712. Uh, but other than that, this, this really doesn't have... Uh, I mean, we got to get that 11K food. All right, so let's uh, turn breeding on. Enable mating. 
Enable mating. Okay, it's not bad, so it doesn't take him that long to mate. While they're mating, let's go ahead and pull that Baryonyx into our trap. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is the, the team's hurting themselves on these. So I'm going to pick these up because I just don't feel like that's a good idea. Turn down my headphones with that sneeze. Why is it chasing me still, dude? aggro real quick got it What the fuck is it? 
Oh, shit, fuck! Pro, pro play right there, right, chat? I think stats are pretty decent, right? Was that the proest Baryonyx team you've ever seen? Oh, it was so bad, dude. That was so bad. This was too wide, and it was able to fit through it. We could try to get some of the salmon. Um, like before, see if we can... I don't know if there's any saber-toothed salmon in the water here. Prime fish meat. Ah, uh, nope, it's a turtle. This is a saber tooth salmon right here, guys. Would it skin me meat? Oh, I got a prime from it. Use a sickle for. You better not have ate that. Okay, so we could we could farm the we could farm the the. The small ones, too. They don't have to be the ginormous ones. Yeah, I, I got a sickle in my base, I think, that we could use. Uh, yep, right here. All right, let's see if we can get some more of this prime fish meat. I kind of wanted to check that yellow drop, too, before it goes away. Oh, check the RG egg. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, it's already ready. Hot. Seriously? I do have one AC, guys, but... Um... I'll have to store it in there for right now. But the AC, I don't have a, I don't have electricity yet. 
Damn, ready to mate in 10 actual hours, dude. Got yellow drop disappeared. Good thing I didn't fly my ass over there. Uh, we got to get a generator, though, if we're going to get some ACs. Yeah, 10 hours. I got I to gotta, I gotta tweak the settings a little bit. Like I said, I haven't messed with any of the settings, really. Everything's pretty vanilla. Still only got one piece right there. pieces right there. Hell yes. We just got a ton of prime fish. Oh, well, at least I know we can get prime fish meat right outside of our base. It's not too difficult. Yeah, if we're going to start doing the breeding thing, we're going to have to get some ACs built up. Yeah, I, 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 my my settings are pretty much default when it comes to a lot of things. Um, a scorpion? No, One thirty scorpion like that. Where's my my meat? Put it on the RG. I'm supposed to take it off the RG. Is it? Oh, uh, there's also a dino you can tame, right? The 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 hell was it called? The the sailback little dino. Starts with a D. Did we can uh, tame one of those. I don't know if one will be enough. To incubate RG eggs. The di yeah, the dime dime turned on or whatever. Damn, that that's almost done. great we did get some carrots though only if we still had the unicorn right guys or Taking it out of my inventory and adding it to the RG's inventory.
Now, please let my Baryonyx be a male. That one's a female. Okay, cool. I was like, I wanted to make sure I uh, did that right. Uh, so what do we need for ACs? Let me see. Or a generator. Let's start with the generator. Uh, elect- ooh. Electronics. Wait, chat. So how do you get electronics without... Tech Dinos? Okay, you can craft them with metal and silica pearls. is tamed up. I actually have a whole lot of Ascendant Baryani Barry Saddles. There's one, and there's the other one. So I think once we get these berries uh, made it up, we'll be able to... Uh, with them pretty 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 good because we got some ascendant saddles and didn't you guys say you could even do water cave with the baryonyx i don't know how effective it would be though that that's that tail stun seems pretty op i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Tamed at 193. A Mosa? Some of you guys are running water cable with a Mosa? How the Okay, so we'll do Jenny and then an AC. And now we gotta get some some gas. Bassy in, in, in the cave, right, guys? And when it, I mean, granted, my Bassy, I don't think it was imprinted or a high level. Uh, it was decent level. With, you gotta remember, my stats were super, super boosted too when I was doing this. So I had a Bassy, I ran Water Cave. And when I went up against the, uh, what was it, the mate boosted pack of endless. Um, yeah, it was the mate boosted pack 
of legitimately endless megs. It was it was tough. It was really, really, really tough, guys, in that damn cave. Um, so I ended up avoiding using the Bassy altogether just because it, it wasn't really helping me. Just due to the fact that, like, as soon as I got swarmed, I was just getting chewed up so bad. Uh, so then I just used the Dolphin and just ran away from everything. And nothing can catch you on a Dolphin. Like, nothing. Um... So that's how I did the cave. I would go around, I'd aggro everything up. I'd pull it back into that big open area of the cave. And then I'd just swim away super fast. And it was it was, it was was super, super good uh, to just do it like that. Some more gas made up for the generator. I did have cryopods, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, my Bassy didn't have a saddle. That's one thing. I didn't have a saddle on it, or a good saddle. I think I just had a baseline saddle. It wasn't a, like an imprinted Bassy, so I'm not saying that they're bad. I just said the one I had was shit. The experience I had was terrible. But I'm pretty sure if you have a bread, or like one that's been bred and it has, um, you know, good stats and a good saddle with some imprint, um, it's probably a whole different ball game. The ocean drops give the best loot. Now, the power is the same like AOE BS that the water is, right? We can just place this probably like here. This. put oil in there, don't I? I think it's oil and hide. Just missing a whole ass component. <laughs> to crafting fuel. I'm over here think I'm making big money moves to... The fabricator doesn't need gas. No, yeah, I, I got the gas for the uh, the generator, um, and then we're gonna have the generator power those ACs, and then we'll have the ACs try to see if we can cool this egg down, and hopefully it works. Yeah, I got a little more gas. I was like, I think I seen a little bit more gas. So the only, uh, the, what is it? The, uh, the grill doesn't use gas either. Or the, no, the grill does use gas. The grill doesn't use electricity. How does that go? Does anybody in chat know? I know the chemistry bench is gas and, gas and, um, power. Refrigerator's power. ACs are power. What, what else? Jenny does everything now. Okay, cool.
everything is electric. Now, that, that was a good change. That, that's a good change. So no more having to like figure out what ha you. Yeah, that, that's a good change. That, that's a that's a pretty good change. I like that. Now let's see if this works. Um, we just turn this bad boy on, right? Yep. And then. Yep, there we go, Tinkin baby. Okay, so my incubation time's about 20 minutes. On an uh, on an RG egg. Does that seem good or is that does that seem like a long time? That doesn't seem too bad to me personally. Okay, so now that we got that, we can also made up our baryonics. Enable mating. Mating. <laughs> 20 minutes is reasonable 10 hours is not so they mate pretty quick as you can see the mating process doesn't take very long um what set i so we gotta we gotta think what setting do i gotta change um the time for them to be able to mate again we gotta shorten that so keep that in mind um the egg incubation time seems pretty decent i don't know how how bad it's gonna be with uh, higher level stuff. All right, let me let me save real quick, and I'm gonna go do these uh, these settings really quick. Okay. Um, advanced. What the hell is it under? Here we go. Um, so mating interval. Damn, that shit's at 0.25 and is 10 hours? Why is that so long? Higher numbers mean less time between egg spawns. Okay, so the mating interval, we'll, we'll just make it, what, like one? Or no, we need to make this lower, right? So point 0.1, maybe? Point zero 0.01? <laughs> and then the egg hat speed... I got maxed out. That's at 10. So that should be... That That, that seems pretty good. Because uh, the RG egg was only 20 minutes. Um, baby mature speed's at 24. That seem, that's maxed out. That seems pretty good, right? Cuddle interval. We're going we're gonna to shorten that all the way down. Yeah. Uh, baby cuddle and then imprints that scale is set. I didn't ever touch that. So one was that 1.5, whatever. I, I think when I first started playing, I, I raised that, but it made the imprints pretty strong. Uh, if you make that too high, uh, but a 1.5 imprint stat scale is still that that's pretty good, right? Chat. I mean, that's what the default was so i have to figure it's pretty good the
Oh, yeah, the... So... Do you want to raise or lower the scale effects or how fast imprint quality decreases after Grace players? Not yet colored with the baby. So how, so you go up or down with this one to make it so I got a little bit more grace period with the... down we'll bring to 0.5 all right so the the hardest thing to balance is mature speed to imprint um what i ended up changing was i believe it was an i and i file when i was playing before uh remember and we made it so all we had to do was imprint like two times one or two times and we would get the 100 percent um because yeah, that 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 stat was stupid hard to get right. That's probably the that's probably the hardest stat though. Oh, this. Is Uh, baby imprint amount multiplier. Yeah, I, I gotta. I'll probably, I might have to add that back into the I and I. We'll, 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 if anybody will, after the fact, drop the drop the the that the set imprint whatever in a DM or or even drop it in the comments of the video so I can remember. Cause I'll, I'll forget. All right. Let's see. Drop this down. I was saying it's too cold. Really? Wait, I thought the, the ACs do hot and cold, don't they? Berries made again. Let me see. It says ready to mate in 26 minutes. And yeah, so it went from <laughs> it went from a whole hour or 10 hours to, to like 30 minutes, which is pretty good. We gotta build some more ACs. That's what do you guys think I am? Bill Gates of fucking electronics? I ain't nobody got money like that. I don't I don't got these silica pearls chat. Um we could go let's see a bunch of beaver dams. Up. Chat over here talking about two more ACs like we just got it like that. Here. Oh, let me drop this egg. So how long do we got on this egg? 12 minutes. I won't, I won't be back in time. So we'll, we'll, we'll store this up for right now finish it later it is cold outside so maybe once the sun comes up with the acs maybe that will be enough to hatch the baryonyx egg you know what i mean guys it might just be because it's cold out it's nighttime, and then once uh once the day comes 
we'll be better off. That, that's my thought process, at least. Could I, I, so I did, I used standing torches um, on Scorched Earth to hatch the, the dragon eggs, because those require just an absurd amount of heat. And I did, I built like a little like circular thing for, uh, for the dragon eggs or the wyvern eggs. Okay, let's see if I can get my hands on some silica pearls over here. Like I said, if anything, we're just going to wait until daytime. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Somebody said the fireplace is good for heat. I got, a, I got an idea. So if I put a fireplace next to the ACs, will it throw off the ACs... Um, ability to like work, or will it comp combined with them? I got an extra fireplace right here. But the only thing is, is if the if what if the egg needs to be colder? Will the fireplace mess that up? I guess if I need an egg to be colder, I just would turn the fireplace off. been out of uh out of spark powder I don't know if I had any spark over here left I got 86 pearls right here. I'm a, I am the Bill Gates of, uh, of electronics, guys. That was enough to get the Baryonyx egg incubating. So we're just gonna have to keep that going with uh, heat. So that I can, I can actually turn this off. We don't have to worry about, let me see if I throw this down. Yep, and I can incubate the RG egg too. Perfect.
Um, so what I'm going to do right now, guys, is go get a bunch of stone. Because I, I got to make, I got to make spark powder. Um, we're kind of dragging ass. Well, not where we are. I don't want to, I don't want to lump you guys up with, with, with this company right here. But I'm dragging ass on production of, uh, whatchamacallit. Sure. Turn off the mating. I don't want to be babysitting right now. Um, the production of like bullets. We, we need to get. We need to get on it. So let me go out real quick. Uh, I'm gonna grab some stone. Got some carnos over here, so we're gonna be careful. Let's get this stuff cooking up real quick. Might go grab that blue drop over there. Gotta admit, guys, I don't mind living on this, in this area. It was really, really, I'd say, rough to get going, you know what I mean? Like, getting going is probably the hardest part. But it's not too bad. Once you're established, like, you've got a lot of resources around you. Good bit of tame types around us. Question is, has anybody uh, in the chat 
played uh, ASA on on, uh, on PlayStation. I know it released today. I haven't heard uh, like how did the release go? How does it run? Does it, does it look nice on PS5? Is it the same as Xbox? Still downloading it on PA PlayStation right now. Got a good bit. So I went ham there, guys. We got a good bit of uh, spark powder. Oh, no, no. I got to mix that with gunpowder now. Or mix it with the charcoal. Okay. Start manufacturing. Good old gunpowder. All right. I've been putting this off for a really, really long time. Let's check these eggs. Good. Three minutes. Four minutes. All right, we're good. Um, eggs. I can get this blue drop in, in time. What was the decision on the May wing? I, I never, I didn't add it. Uh, yeah, I didn't add it. Um, we're gonna let these dinos hatch and then we're gonna go hunt down a Megatherium uh, so we can start prepping. Now that we're, we are getting our breeding area set up, I would like to uh, try to find the Megatherium and uh, start preparing for the Broodmother boss fight. I'm, I'm about 90% sure my, my, the, me fighting Broodmother though. Unless I can get a good saddle. It's probably going to be an easy L. Yeah, Gamma shouldn't be too big of a... Well, I don't, I don't know. I did Gamma on boosted-ass settings. Starve taming megatheriums? Are they are they that bad? I mean, my my goal is alpha brood mother chat. Like if we could one and done Alpha Brood Mother and you know what I mean? Like like skip over gamma, skip over beta, and just go straight alpha. Like that would be ideal. I know that's 
that's a lot to, to sit here and try to think about doing, especially being a scrub like myself. I'm thinking I'm just going to go from boosted ass stats to alpha. I have single player setting turned off. So I don't. So what is alpha going to be like with single player setting turned off? Is it, is it going to be bad chat? Because I, 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 I've never fought a boss. Oh, no, I. No, I did do bosses without sing I don't know. Did I turn the sing I, Yeah, I turned the single player setting off on Aberration. And Extinction. I didn't have single player setting. Okay, 30 seconds on that one and a minute on that one. The, the teams over here so I can keep track of them easy. <laughs> Look how little the Baryonyx is, dude. So he tamed at 181, which means this Baryonyx is not it, chat. So this is just a non-fertilized egg. Should probably, uh... So this one tamed at 181. Grab some fish meat real quick. So it's got good health, it got good stamina, and it got the good melee. Hold on. So it just didn't get the absurd 40 points in food. 120% movement speed, melee. Let me see, what was the max melee on this? 324. Oh, no, that was the good melee. But, no, should I dump points into these? So I don't... I don't recall what the base melee was. Three. This one's 324 for sure. So it could have at least got that. I mean, it's got okay stats. You know what I mean? I don't see this little baby RG. This one tamed at 192, or right at 192. for right now. So this one got two, 2,500 health, didn't get the stam. Pretty meh RG, but the Baryonyx is cool. If it gets the imprint, which I can do in two minutes, We'll see what the percentage is, guys, and how much we're going to have to babysit these imprints. But the mature speed doesn't seem... It's already at 3%, so that's not too bad. The only problem, guys... Oh, shit. What do you do when the imprint is something that you can't give it? Like, what if it wants superior kibble or some stupid shit like that? 
Like, like, how does that work, chat? Pray. <laughs> oh. So without the cryopod mod, you're 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 in trouble. What do you mean you got an ad again? Wait, what? What shit? These sons of bitches. No, they didn't. They got my ass chat. They turned on the fucking ad shit. How could they, how do they change my default setting? They default it on. All right, well. That should be good. You should, it shouldn't happen again. I can't promise that'll never happen again, but. Because if, they, yeah, they defaulted the settings on. <laughs> well, sorry guys that you had to fucking deal with that. Yeah, I just, I literally just told you guys the other day that they're, they're, they got this whole new ad regiment that YouTube's trying to pull. I, I know, I knew they were going to get my ass at some point. Yeah, I know they're automatically doing them, but I, I can still kind of turn them off, I think. Let me know if you guys get it again. Um, but. I'm, so, I'm sorry that you guys had to fucking even deal with that. That shit is so annoying. But those of you guys that did watch them, I appreciate you guys for, you know, that that dealt with it being on. I appreciate you guys supporting me. All right? And not just leaving. So this is 45 seconds. What do you guys think that the, the percentage is going to be on uh, on this? I, I'm think I, I'm hoping it's not like two percent imprint. I will fucking cry, dude. I'm gonna have to get more meat for this. I, I forgot how much. No, it better not be one percent, dude. No way. Less than five percent? You think so? Please don't be something stupid. Um, wants to go on a walk. All right, come on, bruh. That man, I got a whole four percent chat. Yeah, so we're gonna have to change the imprint amount setting. So we're not. So that doesn't have to be super grindy. I don't mind imprinting it like three, four times. But if I gotta imprint it like seventeen times, twenty plus times, that's that's where that shit gets a little frustrating for me. I'm like, boy. I can't do anything else. Okay, so we're going to go up north, and I'm going to scout out uh, some megatheriums.
right now the way my settings are i can't get 100 percent so this baryonyx might not uh, it's not gonna be a, a legit uh imprint because i would have to imprint every four minutes guys four to five minutes and that's just really really like i i get it you know what i mean but it's, it's just too much for like a live stream Yeah, I, I gotta change the imprint amount. Um, and I gotta do that in the INI &I files, but I'll do that next. I'll do that in between streams. We'll, 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 we'll do that in between streams. I'll change the imprint amount. This was just, I mean, that Baryonyx and that RG, you know, it is what it is. The, they were just tests, pretty much. But yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with the setting. I'll, I'll, I'll change the imprint amount and then. Uh... Then I'll do a test off stream to see how much um, imprint I get per thing we do for them. Cause I'd like to get, I would like to get it to maybe like two to three imprints. I had it on an aberration where I just imprinted once and I, I was done. I just did the imprint, didn't have to worry about it again. What do you guys usually set it to? Like two or, I, I forgot what I set it to before. I think I set it to like 10. And when I put an imprint amount at 10, I guaranteed it was a one imprint on any dino in the game. One imprint and you would get your bonus. I'm aiming for like, yeah, probably like one or two for stream purposes. Okay, so let's see if we can find a Megatherium, guys. Got a UD. A 120. Look at. All that time we spent last episode trying to find a freaking higher level UD and there's just boom a 120. Like, ah, oh, first UD you see is a 120. Stupid ass UD. What is it? A male or female? It's a female. Does anybody remember what mine is? That somehow always knows the answer. I don't mind this open snow area here. This is where I actually I tamed uh, my first UD in ASC. Gotta get the stand back real quick. I could check. Oh, I could check on my team log, right? Um, it is a female. So we are looking for a male Judy. Yeah, Golden. That, that's probably what I'll end up doing for the. Because that's what I did before for the imprints, and it was it was nice. Because, it, you know, if I got to do the imprints every couple, like, you know, say every 10 minutes, you know what I mean? It's, it, it stops me from being able to do caves and, and I can't multitask at all when doing breeding. Which So that means I have to completely do breeding at a different time that I want to do other things. But it's just not realistic because, you know, so, yeah, like one and done is probably the best choice for imprints.
Well, I got you, Lily. Okay, let's see if we can... Down on this uh, cliffside here, there was a ton of Megatheriums before. Well, I want to say a ton. We found like five. Let's spot anything over here. And I even had one on this little peninsula when I was trying to tame my other UD. It's a level 30 male. Let's not start this again, okay? Today's a new day. It's going to be better this time, chat. I got an Ascendant saddle out of a white drop. That's the only reason why I'm coming over here right now, chat. Like, you can't... Don't sleep on the white drops, all right? Okay, so you can totally sleep on the white that, that white drop at least. That one was fucking garbage. You know what's funny? That if I say this saying, nobody in chat will know what I'm talking about, nor be able to finish it. But if somebody does, I will be ama amazed. So if I were to say, chat, I grabbed the ball, I bounced it. All right. I shoot the ball, I missed it. What's the end of that? I was like, Kevin, no, it's not. Hates knew what it was. He knew who it was. But do you know what the end of that is? Does anybody in chat know the end? Nobody said it. All right. Come on, Mega Ethereum, baby. Super hot fire, Chad. It's super hot fire. He's not a rapper. That's <laughs> what he's. <laughs> he's not a rapper. <laughs> Smokey said it. Yeah, he, he's 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 one of the. I, I, the reason why it got brought up in my brain, right, is because uh, a lot of, like, people put out polls and stuff, like these, like, high-class, like, music channels. They put out polls, and they're like, who's the greatest rapper of all time? They'll have, like, Biggie, Tupac, Kendrick Lamar, and then, like, Super Hot Fire, right? And if you check any of these polls, it, everybody's always picking Super Hot Fire, like, He'll be like 60, 70% of the poll. And he's like a meme. You know what I mean? He's not actually a rapper. <laughs> so it's always so funny when people actually choose Super Hot Fire. But I seen it the other day. And every time I think of Super Hot Fire, I just think of that one rap where he, he said, I grabbed the ball. I bounced it. I shoot the ball, I missed it. 
And then he goes, psych, I swished it. And then everybody, uh, you know, the whole crowd around him goes crazy. And I was like, bro, that was, that was pretty, that was bars, Ted. That's bars. But he just says like really, really dumb shit that is not cool at all. And that's what makes it so funny. Drop real quick. Gotta watch out for them. We're in the UD neighborhood. Ooh. You know what's crazy, guys? Is I'm only wearing my hat, my my winter hat right now, and the boots. And that is enough cold resistance. Almost a thousand cold resistance. That's what's up. I did get some ascendant uh, fur boots right there. Yeah, if I had to go all out like this. Yeah, 1300 cold resistance. Alright, Chad, what's going on? Not one Megatherium right now. So it's like, you know what? Instead of giving you low, leg low level Megatheriums, we're just going to give you no level Megatherium. This is it. Oh, this. You see how he's just standing there, chat? Yep, this is it. Let me see them guesses in the chat. I'm th I think this one's it, chat. I'm going to say this is the this is a 145 right here. I just feel it. This is the 145, chat. No, 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 get out of here with that 15 shit. That ain't happening, guys. We got the mod. Yeah, we got the mod. Okay. You ready? We got the mod, chat. We got the mod. It's an, uh, there. These things are strong as fuck. I was just gonna kill it real quick. Oh, 
Holy shit, dude. What? There we go. I see him from here, chat. I see him from here. I know I said the last one was it, but this one, two. We got two chances, chat. There's no way. All right. This is two chances. There's no way one of these are not it. Here we go. Boom. 130, baby. And... Damn. Uh, I thought that was, I was like, I forgot my Baryonyx hatched. I was like, I, really, I didn't really bring my Baryonyx egg with me. So how should I build this, guys? I was going to use the metal metal build boards. You think that would be suffice? The only thing I'm worried about is dire wolves. Will they run in and eat it if it's sleeping? They will for sure eat it. A 140 wild RG is attacking me like. Solid walls. So what we could do is we could we, we could tame it up in the trap because megatheriums i trap those right and then what we could do is i can go and build We can go and build some walls and then encase the trap in walls. All right. Let's see. Wait, don't the walls need to be on foundations though? Or I could do the 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 do 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 what the the fence post things, right? I don't fucking know. Um, what are they called? The fence foundation things. It probably would have been easier if I just did a freaking gate, right? Fence.
So I have to do like two of them, like that, right? And then, boom. See, that will work, right, guys? Yeah, that'll work. Five, six, seven, eight. So I'll need eight all together. Is that him? Please be him. Yep, okay, that's it. How do you get it to not snap? I don't want I don't want it to snap at all. I'll do this one here, then I'll snap the second one to this one. Like that. And then we'll snap to it. Boom. that like that I need some more wood Get it in the trap, and then I'll finish the the uh, the construction because I need to still be able to tame it. You know what I mean? And I need to still be able to get out of the trap. So I'll, I'll close this one up. I'll leave this one open because I gotta be able to run in, tank a few hits, and then dr still drop that down, get it trapped inside, run out. See if we can uh, get Mr. Megatherium. Come on, but where the fuck did you go? You were literally just standing here, dude. Stop it. There he is. Let's make sure. No, it's a 95. What the fuck? There he is. Things fast as shit.
No, fuck. I had him. You bitch. <laughs> there it is, chat. Megatherium Hunter 9000, baby. That was a good shot. So be honest, how many of you guys thought that plan wasn't going to work? No, I don't have my magnifying glass. So what do you even tame these dudes with? Berries? That's taking a lot of damage. Now, even though he's sticking out, they shouldn't be able to hit him, right? Because that's like he, he's he's technically not sticking out. Prime meat will work on this. Well, shit, we're gonna have to starve it if we gotta feed him fucking honey. I don't even know how to get that. Question is, how good of sleepers are these dudes? Prime meat works. So if if if, if Mutton works. We might be able to find an Ovis, guys. We are in the in the in the winter biome. So we could starve tame it and try to see if we can find an Ovis. Get some raw mutton. Is there a big difference between mutton and uh, in prime meat? Yeah, the problem is I don't even know how to find honey. Don't you got to get honey out of the redwoods and the beehives? 
Only time I ever got honey in the game was in uh, extinction or aberration with a bear. Prime meat's still pretty effective. We just had to find baby. I mean, it was penguins over here. Could go out to the island, maybe get some penguins. Yeah, there's RGs here that we can farm up for Prime 2, but... Let's see, what's the level? The five ain't too bad. See, my damage is pretty decent. 102 per hit. Kobe. Almost. Got enough prime right now, but I want to starve tame this out. Yeah, that was a nice RG, guys. It really was. Color scheme on it was dope as hell. Five UD. Not that good. It's an Alpha Carno.
Ronnie, I got I got you in the arc. Oh shit. I'm st I feel pretty damn new to the game myself still. Even though I got quite a few hours in Ark now, I still feel like a noob. My question is, is like, when do you not feel like a noob? Like, like, is there like a like a certain amount of hours that just like you get to and you decide like, you know what, I got this. So I'm not there yet. Yellow drop over there. Shit, I might go grab that real quick. And then when we get back, we'll throw the meat into it. Well, hey, you know, if I was somebody to put you guys on Arca, uh, kind of means a lot. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Please tell me those are just low vis. Did that disappear or is it just low vis? Two more mag. There's a 120. And another 130, baby. this okay uh, that was a male and a female right there 120 male and a 130 female just got to get him away from that beauty I'm obviously I'm gonna tame up the one that we have already and then once we get that one tame we gotta. Shit, man. How the hell are we gonna get these mega theorems back to base? I gotta get some saddles made up. Two. Uh, 35 though. Yeah, I, I wanted to get one of those uh, those rhinos. Uh, Flashy actually posted a thing, but he got one today, and uh, it just seems so worth it. You know, especially when situations like this, you boost their speed up a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, you can just grab all the big teams, fly them all around. How fast does the torp go down? Um, I can check the mega. It, it seemed like it was going down pretty slow. Yeah, so it's at about like 80%. Uh, grab his drop. Thing is, is I got, you guys said I have to kill a male rhino first, right? I, I mean, I might be able to kill one now with my battle RG. Now that we actually have a legitimate battle RG, we might be able to take one now.
Yeah, my main thing is I don't understand how how you guys are getting your bread. Like, can somebody explain to me real quick in the chat? Or uh, how do you guys get your tame, your 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 bread dinos, such a high level? Like, some of you guys were saying that you had like level four hundred dinos. Like, how how do you even do that? Because if one fifty is max level. Plus 75 more levels when you tame it. That's what? Two. Uh, what? Uh, what? 225 is max, max. Right? And then 225 is max, max. That, so that means when you breed dinos, you're, oh, the highest level bred dino you can get. Is a 225, right? Mutations. How so how so if you have a 225 and a 225 and they breed to make a baby. Even if it were to get a mutation, wouldn't it only go up to 227? Oh, it's the stats. It's not. I always. I keep forgetting that, chat. I keep forgetting it has nothing to do with the overall level of the dino. It's the stats. Yeah, the levels, yeah, so I, if I have something that, you know, has, yeah, you can you can add levels to it because if it's 225 and then you add an extra 20 points of melee stat to it, it gets 20 points of melee, extra, yeah, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. Because if I have a 225, it could have a bunch of points in food, and then I got another 225 that has a bunch of points in melee, and then when those extra 30 melee points transfer over to the 225, it will go from being a 225 to a 255. Is that how it works? Got it. Okay, I'm tracking. Yeah, that's a lot of breeding, guys. To, like, build, like, just some god-tier level tames, like, doing that. You guys are going out, like, legit spot-checking every dino, like, just looking for a specific set of stats. I couldn't even imagine how strong those dinos would end up being. Imprinted, just Jesus Christ, dude. So I don't know if this is going to be enough prime meat. Now, it will eat raw meat, too, to hold it over, right? Will I get some more prime? Oh, shit. That was quick, man. That's already at 54%. All right. I got to get a... So if you if you like ultimate breed, let's say like a like a like a giga, 
chat. I'm talking like the ultimate giga breeding. And you stat stack like that. Like how much damage are you talking per bite? Cause the Giga is one of the hardest hitting dinos in the game, like per attack. And I couldn't even imagine. Just Yes. 16 to 20,000 damage. 20k is the highest I've Jesus Christ. Could you imagine somebody doing 20,000 damage with a Giga? Just That's that would one shot almost any team I've ever had. Or an enraged Karcha? Oh. That would be terrifying. Could you imagine like a stat stat battle RG grade? Over doing over here doing 700 damage per hit with a fucking RG. So the only downside to the uh, the RGs is they're just slow. But who needs to be fast when you got you just super tanky? Got a freaking heal. That's one of those. Overload dudes, right? Okay, I, my friend, I'm gonna fly out of render. So I don't have to worry about you. We're gonna get a Megatherium saddle made up. We're gonna get this Meg back to base, and then I need to look into taming a, a Rhino. So we gotta find a male. We gotta kill it, right? I also was thinking about getting one of these Megs down here, but I really wanna get the Rhino just so I have a better way of transporting dinos. Um, so I get the rhino, we got to kill the male, get the pheromone, right? And then 
I just have to use it on one of my tames? Does it matter what kind of tame? Does it have to be a certain type of dino or some shit? High level Bronto? Ooh. Okay. I got a lot of those down near my base. Got a double loot yellow coming in right now. We got definitely got to grab that. Get down, get stam. We'll wait for this to hit. Yeah, we could get a high level Bronto. That that shouldn't be an issue at all. says I've been playing three days and what I've noticed is I must take after Brian I built a box to live in with containers everywhere it's the meta dude it's the meta it's the base building meta Yeah, I got I, I got a roof this time. My base, my base this time, guys. You gotta give me credit, all right. Even though I I did put a roof on on the first part, all right. It, it it's coming along. It's the most basey looking base I've ever built. Most of my other bases were legitimately boxes, guys, without a roof, without a top. It was just an open box. Real big armor right there. Chat, did you guys just see that chest piece I got? 400 armor. Four hundred armor, Mr. Demark. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Right, one more piece, and that mega is good.
Yeah, I like the Mega Theorems. They're good sleepers. You don't have to babysit the Torp. That's the only teams that I find annoying are ones that you gotta like super, super babysit. My Sons of the Forest base? Yeah, I mean, that one was okay. I, I, I like that one too a lot, but I, I meant like in Ark. I've never built a, a nice base in Ark. It's always just been a, a box. Uh, but Valheim, I built a pretty nice base. Grounded, I built a pretty nice base. Um, Sons of the Forest, I had a pretty nice one. So there has been some games where my bases are decent. When I get the grinder going, I'm going to be so rich. It's going to be crazy. I just need one of these big boys, right? It's a 110. No, that's the Brachiosaurus. We don't want that. We can't get that guy. I can bring my Rex down here and chew up these uh, low-level Brontos. Try to get bigger ones to spawn. The one, the, the 110, right? Yeah, that, that's going to be a, a rough one for the Rex to kill. I, I got to do damage and then, like, run away when it goes on its hind legs because that shit absolutely slaps. All right, so our Megatherium's uh, tame. Now, as long as I'm out of render, nothing should bother my uh my meg up there right so this rex isn't no pushover how much we got 15k health 506 percent melee we get a whole ass rex out there too Oh, Mr. DeMarc, brother, you know you don't got to worry about that, man. You've done more than enough, man. I appreciate the super chat, brother. this Rexus. So 135 male? What is mine? Yeah, mine's a male too. I mean, it's still a 135 male. Well, mine was a 140 though when I tamed it, right?
nice thing about Rex is, is you can kind of just tame them wherever. Nothing will fucking eat them, really. Thing's fucking dying though. Got it. Let's see what its base stats are before it gets tamed. Two hundred percent melee. 6k health 1400 stamina that's actually really really good stamina chat is that another rex it's a 90 female i'm actually gonna eat that one for uh for the prime Meat, dude. I think this might be an Alpha Cardo. I should be able to take this, right? Oh, shit, that thing hit. That was that was that was close. Tyler actually moves pretty quick in water. Wait, 
Wait, what? Bruh. got my uh, I think I have my which we call it harvest settings turned off on this yep had re resource harvesting turned off Sucks, guys. That was a bunch of prime meat right there. And I had freaking harvest and turned off. Yeah, my my thought got jacked up pretty bad right there. Jasmine, you have a great night. Go to Twitch. Twitch is a booty platform, man. Twitch is a booty platform. Now I have a Twitch account. I just, yeah, YouTube is way better in the in the sense that I can build playlists on YouTube. You can't do that on uh, on Twitch. Six K on that. Now we gotta go get some. I might be able to farm up some of those Brontos. Brontos will give uh, prime meat, right, guys? Azul berry. Hammer berries are yellow ones. So we still obviously got to go up and get our Megatherium, but uh, I don't know if I want to wait to get him and actually walk him all the way back with a saddle or if I just want to go and get this whole situation figured out with the uh, the rhino. You know what I mean? And then just fly up there and pick him up along with the other one. You know what I mean? Damn, that 
Brachiosaurus is fucking huge, man. Makes you feel tiny, even on a Rex. So I'm trying to, I'm, we're trying to get a, a high level Bronto right now um, for the, uh, the Rhino. The Sky Giga. We got a lot of prime meat right now. That there he is. Level 55. It's a snack. Yep, there he's get prime too.
By who? By this? This? Come on, Sam. Let me go drop off this prime meat and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna whoop this Bracky's ass just because y'all said that. Are you guys just disrespecting my Rex? And now I'm about to disrespect this Brachiosaurus. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Guys, this Rex that we have is an it's an actual absolute monster. Okay. What do you mean I'm about to be Bracky Toe Jam? Get out of here. <laughs> the disrespect. You guys are gonna have to go disrespect the shit out of this bracky. Like, King of the Jungle chat. Yeah, what level is my Rex? My Rex is level 254, chat. Jam a stem. I mean, saving won't matter. head on what do you mean? I ain't running I'm just avoiding the big ass stomp what do you mean chat that's just not smart 
That's like boxing and being like, yeah, don't block your face. Just let them punch you in it. No. You throw punches and you duck and weave, chat. You bob and weave. You don't just take the big kick to the face. There's no honor in getting punched in the motherfucking mouth. Okay, so we, we cleared out a lot of the Brontos here. 115 right there. That's not bad. A 70, a 125, a 130. So. Yeah, that, that, uh, I mean, I got hit with the stomp before, chat. He's got to make sure we put it away, though. Brontos take forever to tame. Like, how, how long are we talking, chat? What's, what, what, is, what do we classify as forever? We can go see if they have babies over there, too. If one of them has a baby, we can, uh... That was a hell of a fight, though. It took a lot of damage. Let me see if any of these have babies. That's a nope. Oh, uh, that's a nope. Gotta give them a little bit, too, though. They might, they might spawn some babies. These just spawned in, so... Thirty-five female.
How can I use a Rex to tame one? that rex should be good on prime i'm inventory capped right now because of the prime -y. i might change that prime i and i guys I might, I might not make it as high as i did before because i don't mind like the but i might make it stacked to at least like like five or ten i just don't remember where i gotta go to change that i and i One of the reasons why I don't mind Prime, though, being stacked like that is it's it, it's the best way to get narcotics. Oh, it's so good. It's the narcotic meta. All right. Yeah, so this should last. I think I said the same for sure. That was a 135 male. This one was also a male. Um, and it was a female Rex on there that we could grab. Yeah, I, I definitely do need to get the grill, the cooker grill. I need to get that female Rex though, but we, we got a lot of... A lot of stuff on our list. We got to get... Um, the Rhino though. The Rhino is the number one priority though, Chad. We gotta we gotta focus on that for sure. Yeah, if I can get a Bronto baby, then uh, we'll be super good to go when it comes to... Uh... So, I mean, this only has like 12% imprint, but even a 12% imprint is better than no imprint, right? Once a cyan berry. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try to change that up before next next episode. Change the imprint amount and the prime meat. Yeah, I, I want to try to, but that that's going to be their goal is to get the. Uh, let me see if I can. Is to try to get one of the Sky Gigas. I figure we get one of those, and it's just gonna make my life easier. No, that's all good. I appreciate that. No, that's all good.
the bullets really heavy I forgot. Damn it. Why is wool gotta be so damn heavy? Just doing a quick scan to see if we even have any sky kickers down here because I did a dino wipe in the beginning of the episode. Um, to get the new levels and everything rolling, which means that 140 that was down here is gone. Now, if I find one of those sky kickers, I should be able to get away from it on a PT, right? PT's fast enough. Is it on me? Good thing about them is they got ADD. Right? Why does it not sound like it has ADD? Did anybody see what level that was? I don't know if I even seen it. Fast as hell, man. There we go. That was a fucking level 10, seriously, bro? Was that a 10 female or male? Female. I gotta kill the male, right? If I want the 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 pheromone thing, right? If I had my RG, I could probably kill that female though. That's what we'll do. We'll come back over here with the RG and, and try to farm them.
Yeah, I gotta get the pheromone from the male thing. So, from my understanding of how, how to tame those, is you kill the male, get the pheromone, then you get one of your own tames, use said pheromone on the tame, and then you go to a, a, a high level female, right? And then the female will inject your tame with the eggs. And then the egg grows inside your tame. Oh, you gotta lower the health like a like a reaper. And then it injects your it infects your tame. So it's just like the fucking reaper. Huh? Well, it's a 115 female there too. Question is, how the hell? How the hell do you? How do you get it to go after you? You're tame. Like, say I fight it with a with an RG, right? If I weaken it with an RG, let's just say. And then, how do you get it to get infect your Brachiosaurus? Ooh, we're gonna level 15. Or my Bronto. Will it just automatically fly over and just stick it? So you, you got a trap. So it, that, that thing is possible to trap. I'll probably check out a video and see, get, get an idea of how to trap the damn thing. We got another another wreck, so let's see where these stats landed. 273 melee, 7,900 health, 1,800 stam. It's hard to say how good that is in comparison to my other wrecks. I had, I've already dumped so many points into my other wrecks. I'd have to get use a magnifying glass. I've actually never used the magnifying glass before. Yeah, it does got 800 weight. I thought the magnifying glass allowed you to see the, the stat points or whatever. Check the fish in my trial. Oh, I am out of fish. Very honest, we're going ham, dude. Bro, stop eating the fish. Did the. Oh. 
Yeah, I gotta get its own. I gotta get its own freaking. My Baryonyx, their own uh, feeding chops. So I'll probably put them over here in a corner or something because. Yeah, all these fucking Rexes and shit are just over here snacking on the fish meat like that shit grows on trees, dude. It's all good though. We got we got get that female Rex that's down there. We'll have a mating pair of Rexes. Not the greatest, obviously, but a decent start. Um, we got the RGs going good. We got our Baryonyx mar uh, made it up. I got a high level Megatherium that we still need to get, but I'm gonna do some research on the um, the Sky Giga, and we we can go from there and uh, determine how I'm gonna approach getting one of those things. Once I Once I uh, determine whether I'm going to do that or not, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the Megatheriums. Because uh, my goal, it, uh, my, my idea is to get one of those Sky Gigas and then everything going forward will just be so much simpler. You know what I mean? Like transportation of big dinos, like go out, tame a Rex, just pick it up, bring it back, tame it. You know, I just grab any dino, dino and just bring it back to base. No problem. No more walking it across the map, um, all that stuff. So, so we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some research on them. I'm going to try to figure out how the hell they work, and we'll go from there. But uh, we're going to end this here, guys. We're going to end the stream here. I appreciate all the love, all the support. Um, thank you guys so much again. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the art content, hey, just make sure you guys smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys want to see more. Um, I know we get to a certain point with ARK and people start to get bored and move on but uh yeah, if you guys are still enjoying it hey just let, smash that like button it's the best way to let me know uh we got we got a lot of stuff to do guys a lot of stuff we got some big goals and uh going forward like i said i'm going to be focusing on on new things like the sky giga because i've never done that before period so that's going to be interesting and fun so definitely going to check that out uh, but again, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all the love and support. Remember, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, other than that, you all have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.